is the, the circular, there's the thing that allows the thing, when it's a microwave oven, to heat uniformly, because it's, it's changing the direction of the RF energy, and you're actually seeing it. So I wonder if we it put two It actually gets quite a bit brighter in, than that. I wonder if we put two electrodes in there, you could pull off the energy. You hear what I'm saying? Well, sure you could, but... I'm like, well, look, isn't that thing, in other words, they don't even have anything like this in the high school physics lab. You know, what? They, they, anybody could make this thing. Well, no. Well, we're going to make one. That was a, that so was what a this is, job is a microwave. that base plate. You know, all that long it's got a control there. valve to let some air in. That's what it, look, I think that's a Tap to a vacuum pump. pump. Turn off the We're in Magnetic Arts Lab. Okay. And he's shown us his plasma microwave. Well, you should have seen what I had here 20 years ago. I had the big laboratory. Leave it in there. Leave it in. It switches on. Okay, so let me open this thing up so I can see the... I want to see the thingamajigger. Careful, it might be hot now. And so he bolted aluminum plate in there with yeah, holes you, in it. You, you can't take a picture with the door open. <laughs> right, right. Careful, it's it probably hot. hot. To Let's see. Let's put it this way. It really gets... It's see, hot. Yeah, but it's, it's not... not that, it's not... It's not cooking. It's crucial, not going to... It's crucial not going to... Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's uncommon to touch, but that's nothing for the silicon rubber or anything. That's mm -hmm. good for 500 degrees, you know. So he, the plate this is plate will be the plate's quick. ice cold. cold. Of course, yeah, of course. Not only that, if it wasn't, these are plugs here. I have another set of holes in this thing that we could water cool this whole thing while it's running. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, have. Wow. I don't, I so don't the have aluminum to. is cold, of but course. the plate is hot. Well, because Why? Because there's a lot of mass. Because of the piezoelectric See, effect the, the, in the glass. <laughs> So from the, the silicone, aluminum plate is, is the... basically has a lot of conductivity. The eddy currents on it are not there. But there's additional holes. There's two holes here for water in and out. You can feel them here. Oh, you're so cool. Yeah. And what is this? A vacuum to draw a vacuum on the Oh, you need on the a, plate. you need a hose that won't collapse, so it's wire reinforced. See, see that? That's but going this down vacuum there. is going where? To that pump on the floor. So that's the vacuum. That's a vacuum pump. Right. I but thought see, we were it, pumping this It's not this the kind of pump that they use to, for refrigeration. This is, this is a pump that goes down to, uh, this is a submicron vacuum pump. That's very touch. At the level so, we have to do this, uh, 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 most vacuum pumps. What's that look of confusion? It's a vacuum pump. Most, it's a vacuum pump. So all we're doing is vacuum the atmosphere around it. No, no it's inside the bowl. The inside the bowl. Inside the bowl's under vacuum. It's being vacuumed here, and this is the other side yeah. reading Look. the vacuum. And therefore, the microscopic amount of atmosphere. Remember, our atmosphere is a one percent argon. When argon is a plasma, that's what's making the pink color. The one percent argon. The, now, if, it, if we fed neon glass in there, it would you, you, have more of a red. red you know what I like about this? The natural color of neon in a plasma is, is red. You know what I like about There's this apparatus? There's a plasma apparatus? and this uh, fluorescent too. Is it That's the, a plasma. The bowl, the bowl is sucked down on top, right? Inside the Faraday cage. So if it does explode, you put some weird gas in there, something, you're not going to hurt nobody. This should be a good experimental device. Well, what I wanted to do eventually with this thing, uh, the inlet here, uh, uh, I'd have two inlets that don't come together uh, 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 until it's on the, the vacuum level because you, you, you don't want to mix hydrogen and oxygen at, at uh, normal room pressure. Okay, You don't want a mixture of pure hydrogen and oxygen because anything can detonate it. Okay. okay. Uh, I used to pick up so the bubbles from the my hydrogen? swimming pool with a cut-off uh, plastic jug, you know, let the bubbles that came up from, we had an oxygen generator, something like that, and, and the bubbles coming up were hydrogen and oxygen, it was electrolysis of, of the water, okay, and I put a soda straw on the top of that thing here, uh, it was just this much, uh, uh, and put a match to the, and so, 
I, heard, I got such a jolt. I, mean, I, I feel a pain in my shoulder to this day just thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, the impulse was so instantaneous like that. So how do you get the pure so it's an old into, HHO that, experiment. into that bowl? <laughs> Through here? Oh, no, no. I would have to, I would have to get a, the perfect way to do it is to get a little... Uh, a Brown's gas generator, or, or if you heard of Brown's gas. Yes. Oh, okay. Brown's gas is That H, sounds like a fart, huh? Instead of H2O, it's HHO. Yes. Okay, like that, which means it's more stable mixed together. We're like making that. it. I got it. All yes. right. Okay. Now, uh, if we introduce that into that, but by the time it gets to the bowl... It, it, it's only 50 micron. It, it, it's a thousand times less dense, not a hundred thousand times less dense. So the point is, uh, uh, the amount of of actual gas in the whole bowl at that time, because this is such a vacuum, the volume of that gas is only as like as much as a drop of water. The volume of the gas is the volume of a drop. Uh, okay. in the whole salad bowl because the vacuum okay. has expanded. So the BTUs are the, uh, shall we say, the energy, the calories uh, of a gas that's at the plasma level is way, 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 way down. But the, but the amazing thing, the brilliance of the combustion is there without the energy, the light, the photonic energy. Is, uh, the photonic energy is, uh, is determined by the fact that it's a plasma and the volume of the bowl. Okay, the only difference is if I had more oxygen and hydrogen in there, uh, the reaction would have so much pressure as well that the bowl would blow up, the whole micro, I mean, that much hydrogen and oxygen uh, 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 igniting at little thing where it would just blow the whole microwave oven apart. But the interesting thing We've done is a couple of those. when that ignites that, it doesn't have enough pressure to even reduce the plasma. In other words, the, the idea is we brought it down. You have to understand how little, how 50 microns, a micron is a millionth of a meter. Okay, it's a thousandth of a millimeter. Uh, uh, 740 microns, excuse me, millimeters, not microns, is one atmosphere, 14.7 psi. The, the, that is, that, so I'm giving you that as, a, a, as, as an illustration uh, uh, that uh, uh, it takes, uh, I believe it's 470 millimeters of mercury this would represent 14 points. Uh, they call it a tor. Uh, 50 microns is uh, uh, 50 millions of a tor. Uh, that, that, that and it changes, it changes environment that much. Wow. Well, I'm trying to say is all the, all, all the essentials are there for hydrogen and oxygen to turn into water. As soon as that combustion takes place, the volume of it is decreased by thousands of times. If you take the gas from a drop of water, uh, and, and uh, uh, you can determine all that by knowing the weight of hydrogen and the weight of oxygen per cubic foot. You know, you can actually, I, I can actually tell you how many cubic feet of hydrogen and oxygen are in a one drop <laughs> of water. <laughs> but you see, water. It's eighteen hundred thirty-five times. Is, is burnt hydrogen. It's oxidized. H two O. Hydrogen is a gas, a flammable burnt, it's gas. It's burnt hydrogen. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it's consumed hydrogen. Water is what you get when you burn hydrogen and oxygen. That's the only thing you get. H two O. What's so interesting about this plus thing oxygen is equals H2O plus E energy. You know what's cool about this thing is you said no. that anything organic we can put in that bowl and it will pretty much turn it back to hydrogen. Yes. Well, it turns to hydrogen, but the fact that 
organic is a hydrocarbon, you don't get water, you get carbon dioxide. Uh, okay. You see? Now, what were you going to use it use it for to clear, clean I made metals? this thing, use it for years. Just, you see all those, let's call it a dry box there, like that. Okay. That we kept the tank of gas there slightly pressurized to keep all the parts there sterilely clean. It's a mess uh -huh. right now. Uh, but the parts before processing, they go into our sputtering where we deposit thin films of glass on that thing. Uh, everything has to be atomically clean. Wow. You, 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 your, every component, your cell phone, your computer, uh, the main chip that you spent the $1,500 for, whatever it is, is shit if you did not have plasma deposition cleaning at the plant when they deposited all those thousands of circuit L transmit on a silicon wafer. If you had anything of any contamination, uh, uh, it could go caca in six months or, or two years or whatever it is like that. It, it, you, you know, know what? Maybe we should be depositing. After the transistor was invented, it was almost a few years before we had integrated circuits. And yet it took 20 years after transistors were being sold for the electronic industry before uh, RCA put one in a television set. And you know why they waited 20 years? Because they're doing a billion dollars a year in sales at the drug stores for the Selling radio tubes. tubes. The tubes. Every drug. You're old enough to remember going with your dad. I and, did. Uh, yes, he took I the shoebox. He pulled all the tubes out of the teaser. And if he was smart, he put them up in a piece of styrofoam in the box, just the way he took them out of that thing. <laughs> and, and he put them in the tube tester just to find the first one that didn't uh, have the right to uh, have gas leak or sort or anything like That's that. That's right. Uh, and usually it was just one, maybe two tubes you replaced, and the set worked like no again. That's right. Now I have a TV set that we have, uh, an RCA set, the, uh, it's a 25 inch set, I, it's 25 years old, it works just as good as the day it was, no, never had, never had needed a repair man for it. If it ever doesn't work, I'm going to throw it out. <laughs> okay. We'll take the two. Yeah, but that's the only reason I don't have a big flat screen. <laughs> that's the day. But anyway, that's remarkable. You, you're talking about, I mean, everything here is, this is a, a story. A friend of mine died, and he made his own automatic coil winder here. This is really a homemade type of a thing. Uh, 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 when the motor runs here, it turns this little screw here. See, uh, 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 and this causes the, this thing to move forth and back to wind coils like that. And here's a little leather belt and a motor that drives this pulley. Uh, uh, it was a sewing machine motor. <laughs> and look, you can pick this up and start it anywhere for the number of turns. See, when it comes to here, it hits the switch, see? Isn't that neat? So, as this is turning, watch. See how this goes here? Oh, look at that. It'll actuate the switch. Then he can put it up and start it anywhere else. I mean, the guy was just a homemade genius. But I don't make things that way. They're Mickey Mouse. You know? <laughs> 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 when I make a propeller... That's the way I make it. My That's right. The reason is I have the tools. There you go. And my, my favorite tool is something I carry around between the ears. That's what I was going to say. That's called tactics. Tactics, is, tactics. tactics, you only win an election, not by the issues, but by the tactics you employ. I'm telling you, at that election here, they were picketing the church. Did I tell you it was illegal to, yes. uh, uh, to pick with it? I yes, called the is. police. I said the people are violating a federal law on election day by picketing at the polling place. They were outside on the sidewalk. Did but the police they, arrest them? I don't know whether I said I you I if I was there, I was right there, I want to make a citizen's arrest. They're violating the most basic precept. Of course, by the same token, like I said, if they had at the time when they enacted that law over a hundred years ago, if they had radio or television, they would ban uh, uh, advertising. For many years, doctors and lawyers were forbidden to advertise. Their reputation was all word of mouth. Wow. Now, lawyers have more pages than the yellow pages. They have five times more pages <laughs> than the next biggest category, which is auto-related. 
there's more pages for lawyers advertising, the yellow pages, uh, than any other profession. Okay. And it wasn't poor when I was young, was considered unethical for 